I don't have to ask the name of this particular motorhoming gentleman because he's got his name written all over him. Vic Avery. It's on your shirt, it's on this badge. And Vic, you're the president, what, of the Heimer Club International? Yes, and I'm very fortunate and very proud to say I'm a member of the Heimer Club International. I've been the president for the last eight years and I've been the, with the club since it was founded 25 years ago. And tell us about the club. The club is for all Heimer motorhome owners. Only Heimers. Only Heimers and only motorhomes. I'm afraid we don't even accept Heimer caravans. Oh, you're very strict, Vic. Very strict rules, but then we are a very special group, aren't we, in the Heimers? <laughs> <laughs> you Heimer people all think you're very special. Well, we are very special. I mean, you know, we are the motorhome on the market, really. I mean, there are other sheds on wheels, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm not sure we can put this controversy on the motorhome no, channel. There'll be all sorts of people writing in, complaining. Probably very true, yes. I mean, a bit unfair perhaps but yes but uh, we have owned other motorhomes um, this is our number eight Heimer which we've had since um, we've been Heimering since 1984 which I think is about 30 years mm -hmm. uh, so we've been through a selection of Heimers but before that we had things like caravans and dormobiles and uh, even to a tent at one stage for a few brief weeks. So you really started at the bottom Certainly did. And have moved yes. your way up. Yes, we're finding now everything fits and everything works, and uh, yeah, we're thoroughly enjoying it. Are you sure. happy with the bed? It's got some yes, the bed is a little bit unusual in that it's a, it's rather like the the Volkswagen uh, fold-out settee design. It mm -hmm. comes out from the side wall, um, but it gives you a large bed um, and very comfortable, very comfortable, very easy to make up and down, and uh, we've works well and the advantage is it does give you when the bed is folded up it does give you space in the back if you needed to carry bicycles or an invalid chair or something mm -hmm. of that sort there is plenty of room in the back i can't see you in an invalid chair i can <laughs> see you on a bicycle yes we do have the bicycle now <laughs> but of course it does have a big complete tailgate which opens the whole back end up so oh, you right. can you can get everything in down the back of the vehicle very easily so Yes. And you actually use that facility? We have used it, yes, yes. And obviously in the really hot weather, uh, you can open it right up and it stays up and makes a sort of yeah. ready-made veranda type thing. Vic, I've got to ask you, how old are you? Uh, I'm a week over 85. 85. <laughs> so you're still happily motorhome? Certainly are, yes. And I've no intention of giving that while we can. And is... uh, my wife's even older than I am, but I better not tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> That is brilliant. Well, I hope that you stick with this motorhome for a while if you get a new one. Yes, well, Andy, it's very nice to meet you again, and thank you very much indeed for the opportunity to speak to you. Thank you. The pleasure was entirely mine, Vic.